What's up guys, Stephen Colts of Mac here. Now there's an awful lot of coverage of iOS 12 at the moment. Full reviews, lists of features, how to upgrade to the beta, but what if you want to downgrade back to the public release of iOS 11.4? Betas can be buggy and after the fun of playing with the release before everyone else wears thin, you might want to go back to something a bit more stable. Well in this video I'm going to show you how to do just that, so let's roll the intro and get started. For this, you're going to need a computer running the latest version of iTunes. Unfortunately, there's no way to do this just on the iOS device itself, as we'll be using an IPSW file to restore iOS 11.4. Also, if you didn't back up your device before installing iOS 12, there is a chance that you will lose all of your data. iOS 12 backups won't restore to your device once it's running iOS 11. I just want to make sure I made that clear before I get into the video and before I start getting all of those angry comments. To get started, back up your iOS device to either iTunes or iCloud, whichever you prefer, but make sure to archive your iOS 11 backups beforehand so you don't overwrite them. Then on your Mac or PC, you need to download the IPSW file which corresponds with your iOS device. I'll leave the link in the description down below for where to find these. Once you find the one for your device, save it to your desktop or somewhere you can easily find it. Open up iTunes and connect your iOS 12 device using a USB cable, as over the air updates won't work for this. Once your computer has recognised your device, you'll see a little icon next to the category drop downs. Click on that to reveal the summary section of your iPhone or iPad. Next, we need to install the IPSW file. To do so, hold Option on your keyboard and click on the Update button on your Mac, or hold Shift and click on a PC. You'll then see a pop up window which will allow you to select the IPSW file from wherever you've saved it to restore the file. Then, you'll need to wait while the restore file installs and the iOS device will reboot a few times. Don't panic if you see it flashing with an Apple logo, or it restarts over and over, just be patient. Once complete, your phone will restart and you'll see the usual Get Started page. If for any reason this has failed, and it can fail, you'll need to put your device into recovery mode to continue downgrading. But please remember that doing this will wipe your phone, so you'll have to have a previous iOS 11 backup or be happy to start from scratch. To do this, the first step is to put your iPhone or iPad into recovery mode. This differs depending on what device you're using, but with the iPhone 8 and newer, press and release the volume up, then press and release the volume down, and then hold the power button until you see the USB cable and iTunes icon. For the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the power and volume down buttons at the same time until you see the recovery screen. And for iPads and older iPhones, press and hold the power button and the home button until it enters recovery mode. When your device is in recovery mode, plug it back into your computer and within iTunes, click the restore button which will then begin wiping your iPhone or iPad and installs the latest general release of iOS. Again, it'll take a little while, but you'll then have a fresh install of iOS 11.4. Well, that is it for this video. Hopefully I made everything clear and easy to follow. If you've got any questions though, make sure to leave them in the comments section down below and I will do my best to get back to you. If you enjoyed this video though, or found it useful, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next one.